Hello YouTube friends! Welcome back for another video. Today I am doing a fun fall lipstick haul drugstore style. I have five new lipsticks to show you and one that I have already showed you before but it is a drugstore favorite and a lot of you liked that and so I thought I would swatch that along with the other colors that I got so that you can see them all side by side. And of course, anytime that I do um, a lipstick unbagging, unboxing, or the like where I'm not starting out with a lip color for lipstick of the day, I like to give you guys book of the day. So today's book recommendation is actually from a somewhat new to me author. I think I discovered them about a year ago. So this is the book Watch and See, and it is by the um pen duo jiffy kate so it's actually two fabulous ladies who write um under a pen name together and they have written quite a number of books and actually today the day that this video goes up i think they have a new book out so um definitely check them out i have to say that this book was unlike any other romance novel i had ever read it's a little bit darker and more real. I felt like the characters were people that I would know and who had real life experiences. The whole book is not sunshines and roses and unicorns. Um, and so I felt like it was just more believable and more realistic. So great characters, amazing character development in the book, and just I highly recommend. Now with some of the other um, romance novels that I have recommended. Again, this one does have mature content, so if that is not something that you're interested in, I would stay away from this, but if that is not something that bothers you, um, then I highly recommend this book. It's one of the really good ones that I have read in the last year. I read all the time, and so I have read the good, the bad, the horrible, the mediocre, and the great, and I would say that that book is one of the good to great ones that I have read. Um, in the past year or so. So anyways, I am going to get into these lipsticks now. So I have tried to not always be recommending $25 lipsticks per your request. And to be honest, in order to keep up with the number of different lipsticks I show you on this channel, I can't afford to buy them all for $24 or $22 or $27 myself. So it was a fun challenge and I have to say I found some great shades. So the first one that I found is actually from Milani and this is number 25. This is called Naturally Chic. Now I'm actually going to apply this on the lip because it is the most subtle color in the bunch so that you can see it on the lip and I'm also going to swatch it for you. So this is what the color looks like. Swatched. I think it is so pretty and just a really beautiful fall everyday kind of shade. So if you are someone who doesn't love super vibrant or over the top lipsticks because a lot of times I wear some pretty bright ones. This one is a great one for you. Um, it's a little bit warm but it's more of a like rich rosy tone and so I think it's just beautiful. So I'm gonna put this on. I'll be right back. All right, so here it is on. I absolutely love it and I can see myself reaching for this shade on a daily basis. I really like it a lot. It does go on smoothly. I will say it has just a slight waxy feel to it, which I have found that a lot of drugstore lipsticks do tend to have that sort of slightly waxy feel. Not necessarily a bad thing, but I can t I feel like I can tell the difference in the feel of the lipstick sometimes. Um, but again, great shade, uh, really pretty. It does have a very light fragrance, but it's not overpowering at all. So this one is definitely a winner in my book, and I'm sure you'll be seeing it in some future videos. Next up, I've got a color from NYX. I went back and forth. They had so many lip colors. Um, I did get two from this brand, and this one is their Soft Matte Lip Cream, and it is in the shade Rome. So they had one whole set where they were all named after um, cities, mostly in Europe. So it is a doe foot applicator. And swatch it for you guys. Okay, 
so there is that one so this one as opposed to the rosiness of this one I feel like this one is much more mauve has just a hint of a purple undertone I think you could wear it um, even if you are warm toned um, but I do feel like it's just a little bit cooler than this one so a really pretty shade it does have a slight I'd say slight vanilla scent but not too bad nothing strong so I really like that one and I will definitely wear that in a video coming up as well next is another color from Milani I tried to get two from each brand so you could kind of see a range that they have so this one is number 14 this is the devotion and this is their Amore matte lip cream so it also has a very thin doe foot applicator Ooh, yes please hello date night yeah <laughs> so this one is i would say a slightly more um blue based red it's not quite red i feel like it just is in between like a true red and like a magenta color so I really like that and I think that would be beautiful for going out in the evenings I mean I'd wear it during the daytime too let's be honest I don't discriminate against lip colors due to the time of day but that is really pretty and then Miss Christy uh, Georgia Sunshine did haul a bunch of these Maybelline lipsticks and these are the For Me lipsticks and I think this was the only color that she didn't show on her channel so I thought I would pick this one up because I was curious to see uh, what it looks like. So this is the Ruby For Me lipstick and it's number 385 from Maybelline. And this is their Color Sensational line. So this is what the bullet looks like. A really pretty color. <laughs> totally just got some on my nose. Well, that was glamorous. Okay. <laughs> All right. So this one is just a little bit more sheer and just a little bit lighter than that Milani color. So I really like it. It definitely is more of a pinky red for sure. Very pretty. It does have a very light fragrance. Um, Gosh, I don't know what it smells like. It's not vanilla, like many a lip product, but I really like that. And I will show you guys that one in the video as well. Another one from NYX, this is their Lingerie Push-Up Long Lasting Lipstick. Um, and this is in the color Exotic. Now I saw I think it was Emily Noel. Do you guys watch her channel? She has some great makeup tutorials and a lot of amazing videos. Um, so definitely check her out. She's one of those bigger YouTubers though. Um, so I'm going to try this one out and we're going to try this one Ooh, on the side. Okay. So that went on like butter. I think that is great. So it's almost a little closer to more the tone of this one so definitely a little on the warmer side but I would say it's about as deep of a shade as this one so really pretty I like that so I might have to try that one and swatch that on the lip actually for you guys in a minute here but I think again if you don't mind a slightly deeper lip color um, for an everyday shade I think this would be a great go-to color as well and then last but definitely not least is the Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon. Now this one I have shown you in a previous video. I think I might have put it on in a Stitch Fix one, but don't quote me on that. And this is, where does it say the color name? Oh, it's on this end. This is the Own Your Empire. Um, and this is number 50. So I will swatch this one for you too. Okay. And this is what it looks like. So it's actually very similar to the other one that I got. So, note to self, I have a problem buying very similar shades of lipstick. Are you guys lipstick junkies? Do you tend to buy a lot of lip colors? 
All right, so definitely let me know in the comments below, do you have a favorite shade that I swatched? Or do you have a lipstick recommendation for me, be it high-end or drugstore? I would love to hear about it in the comments below for sure. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell so that you get notified of all of my future videos. I've got some great ones coming up. I ordered some stuff in the FabFitFun edit sale that I will be showing you sometime soon. Um, I might be doing a few cooking videos just to throw something in there for fun and a little out of left field. I've got a stitch fix coming hopefully this weekend and lip monthly my empties and all kinds of other fun stuff so definitely stay tuned thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will talk to you soon bye guys